Hi, I'm Jim with InStuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Tone King Sky King. The Tone King Sky King is a 35 watt 112 two channel combo amp. It features a 112 Tone King 1660 speaker by Celestion. It has two channels, rhythm and lead, both foot switchable. The rhythm channel controls are volume, treble, and bass. The lead channel controls are volume, tone, and there's a mid bite control. There's a fully tube driven reverb section with a two spring reverb pan. And the tremolo section, it's a bias modulation type tremolo circuit, also controllable with the foot switch. Each channel features a built in Iron Man power attenuator, which attenuates the signal from 0 dB all the way down to negative 36 dB. There is an operating mode switch on the back of the amplifier, which allows you to switch between ultra linear or pentode mode. The amplifier has two 6L6 power tubes and four 12AX7 preamp tubes, along with a 12AT7 and a 5U4GT in the preamp. Finally, there is an extension out in the back, which allows you to go between 8 ohms and 16 ohms. And the amp weighs in at 48 pounds, and we have it today featured in black. Okay, now we're back, and at the top of the video, you heard me playing on the clean channel. Um, I had the amp set, as you see here, uh, right on the edge of breakup. So here's the neck, and the volume controls are wide open here. So it's a really rich, clean sound, a lot of sustain, and if I dig in... breaks up, but if I just bring the volume down, I get a pretty nice clean sound. So let's run through the volume controls a little bit, and I can get a really, really clean sound if I just bring the volume back down to about three. Still really rich, a lot of nice harmonics, and just the sustain is great. I mean, the notes just really last. Tiny bit of hair there if I really hit it hard. But it's just a really great uh, clean sound and it really reacts well when you put pedals in front of it too. And I can just bring the volume down a little bit and really get it sparkling clean. So let's bring the volume up to about halfway and listen to a little dirt sounds. Uh, this is gonna be on the back humbucker here. I'll take the reverb out. And I can take some of the brightness off of it. It does get a little brighter when you bring the volume up. that really that kind of 60s blackface clean style overdrive I 
I can keep pushing it out. still reacts really well when I bring the volume down. Get a nice chimey sound. So you can get a huge array of sounds just that's just out of the clean channel. So let's bring the um, volume back down and I'm going to set up kind of the clean sound I had at the beginning of the video. And let's hear the reverb a little bit. Here's the reverb on about three. You can hear the decay there. It's a really nice tube reverb, and here's it halfway up. about three quarters of the way here. get crazy with the reverb, it's still pretty usable and it's really pleasant and the, the tone of the amp still really comes through. It doesn't wash out uh, too badly. So let's bring it back down and let's listen to the tremolo now. Start with everything at 50%. pretty intense with it if I bring up the, the depth and the rate. That's a really nice tremolo circuit, and you can even just keep it really subtle. And you can uh, engage that off and on with the foot switch. So let's go over now to the lead channel, and I'm going to kill the reverb. And I've used, there's a separate Iron Man 2 attenuator, as we mentioned, with both of these channels. So before the video, I kind of set up the amp at a volume that wasn't going to kill me sitting right next to it. Um, and I've tried to balance out these two channels. So what you can do is you can really get a, a great rock sound mm -hmm. happening on your lead channel, and then you can just knock it back so it's balanced with your clean channel when you switch back and forth. So here's the sound I have in the humbucker uh, on the lead channel. <laughs> Here, 
even on six, that's a, a pretty healthy amount of gain. I can bring it back a little bit. Let's bring it back to three. And even there, that's a pretty full sound. It really responds well if I lighten my touch. If I dig in. So let's run through and see how much gain we can get out. As you use more gain, you can bring the tone back a little bit and the mid bite back a little bit so it's not too bright. Let's run through, let's keep the gain on the volume rather at about five and a half and let's run through the tone control first. So that's all the way off. Here's about halfway. Three quarters. And the mid bite control. All the way up. So, as you can see, as I bring that mid bite control up, I get a little more gain out of the amplifier. And again, even at these settings, all I got to do is bring my volume back. Now, finally, there's a switch uh, on the back of the amp, pentode and ultralinear. Uh, for the whole video, I've had it in pentode mode. And pentode's going to give you a, a pretty quick attack, and it's going to feel pretty immediate. And if you switch it uh, to ultralinear, which I'll do now, what that's going to do is it's going to make it feel a little spongier and um, maybe a little more compressed, and the amp's going to get a little quieter. So. Now, you might not be able to hear that uh, on the video, but in, definitely the way the amp feels is different. And there's some of the, maybe a little bit of the high end is gone too. And it definitely feels a little more compressed, but in a, in a very musical way. It's really smooth and it gives you a, maybe a little more sustain, uh, just in a different way. But they're both very usable. Uh, and you can really kind of shape the, uh, the overdrive you get out of the amp using that. Okay, well that was the Tone King from... That was the Sky King from Tone King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, see you next time. Cool. I like you want to take that? No, that's good, man. Got to get, uh, get a little human element in there, pal. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Cool, give me a little, uh... Uh, yeah, trial on music. Uh, I like it. Dude, I sweat like a...